Hey everybody, yeah, it's been a while since I made any videos. Uh, I was out sick for most of a week with a flu, and I've been working a lot, so I haven't had much time to do hobby stuff and or and or make videos. But I did finish the upgrades on the Evil Sons Battle Wagon, so now it's fully equipped, so I can run all three w versions. I got the the uh, gun wagon, bone breaker, and then I can just take this off for a normal battle wagon. You know, it really is surprising to me how much different the uh, extra bits really make to the battle wagon. Whoops. How much more significant it makes the model just in general, having this other stuff on here. But yeah, really like it. it's all magnetized. Looks great when it's in uh, any of the configurations, but yeah, very happy with that. So this is the Evil Sons battle wagon. Finally, well, done again. <laughs> That's a rhino top there, if you haven't noticed that before. Oh yeah, might, might try a gun wagon sometime. Anyway, so that's that, that's all done. Okay, so here's a progress I made on the war boss. And so far, it turned out pretty well. Um, of course, I green stuffed pants on him. And then I green stuffed into all the chain mail. I um, added a belt and a belt buckle here, some knee pads with uh, rivets. Uh, the soles of the feet are plastic hard. Turned out very well. Very happy with that. And then I carved down the neck, put a little groove here between the shoulders. The standard orc style. And this is the head, this is how far the head sits down. Not quite as low as I would have liked, but it, as you can see, I would like it a little bit lower on the shoulders, but it's still pretty effective. And I really can't move, practically move it down much at all. This is from a Black Orc uh, musician drum. I think it looks pretty good. I might be using more of these because I got several of them. And then building the Snag of Claw. Uh, pretty much just copying the, uh, the standard uh, Death Killer War Trike model. Some cables here. This is from the KFF on the Mega Knob Kit. Um, so the hydraulic cylinders here for the power claw for the snake claw aren't very sophisticatedly mounted, but they're on there and, uh, and they look pretty good. Then of course the, the chain from a truck for whatever the snagging part of the snake claw is. Um, the one suggestion I did get was to add a spool here for the chain, um, and then the actual model has one of those too, except it's on its uh, waistband. So I might put a spool here. Um, but other than that, he's pretty much done. And it turned out pretty well. Uh, so then I started working on the Venom. So I started first a platform for the war boss to stand on. So this is what I got. Just some chuck bits. Basically leftovers from the uh, uh, big track. And so he's going to be sitting on here like this. With grabbing onto the railing. So that's pretty good there. And then sort of modifying the Venom. So, this is the platform will be sitting back here, like this. And I got legs, also from Fantasy Orcs, but it's mostly going to be covered up anyway, so it doesn't matter. So they just sit in here like that. And I got to get the torso and thing. So I got to get the boomsticks um, going on here in the end. One is going to be in his hand, of course, just like on the regular kit. The other two are going to be mounted. Um, and the armor here is going to be whipped up, orcified, all that stuff. So, once you put that arm on, it, the uh, scale doesn't come out too well. I'm also going to replace the wings with some some uh, bits from the uh, flyer kits, just like I did with the def copter. So, and I'll probably use these as like winglets or something. That's some turn some of the old bombs into engine, rocket engines underneath the platform and uh, yeah that'll pretty much do it I think it'll look pretty good I can't really hold it together too well no idea but yeah this is this massive war boss I'm probably gonna magnetize him and also give him a regular base to use as a regular war boss in addition to being on the death killer war trike so yeah he pretty much towers above this thing so I might even have have the venom sitting at an angle like this, like the uh, war boss is weighing it down too much. 
for the uh, repulsor stuff, for the anti-gravity stuff to hold them up. Yeah, it'd be funny. But uh, yeah, so he's coming along pretty well. Um, still got a lot of orky fighting to do on the Venom. Viper. Viper. But uh, yeah, pretty happy. Very happy with the Warboss itself. I think this guy just came out great, despite my mediocre green stuff skills. And uh, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I'm going to keep working on the Venom here slowly. Again, I'm still working a lot. The flu's finally over with, but I'm still working on it, so I don't have a whole lot of hobby time. Um, but what I am is going to be working on the Venom. So yeah, let me know what you think of the War Boss. I'll put some pictures up. And any suggestions? I think I said the spool to replicate the actual Death Killer War Trek model would be working out very well. But for a $6 base model, a little bit of green stuff and some bits, some plastic card, He's a very, very effective war boss and pretty massive too. Anyway, thanks for watching.